Hello YouTube Society, Wartum here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. This time it's a little special episode. Um, I will be making a tutorial on how to make a self-opening or an automatic opening and closing uh, gate if you would like to make a castle. Uh, so I've already started here because I wasn't completely sure on how to make this opening mechanism. Um, so let's just see how it works. Um, I have two sets of pistons down here. Oh, um, since you have to be two, uh, you have to make the gate go double up, you know, uh, in order for you to pass through. And then I have gravel, so the blocks will fall down again uh, after you push them up. Uh, let's see here. Perfect. Um, now let's see what you would have. Is the entrance is up in this height, actually? Bam. And then let's see. Yeah. What the fuck? That was not supposed to happen. What the hell just happened? <laughs> Let's try that again. Um, sorry about that. There we go, and boom, perfect. Okay, I was a little worried, worried there. Um, now, if you want to, you could uh, just add a button to this, but we will continue and make something even more epic, uh, because we don't want our gate to be open all the time. Right. Uh, if you'd like to, I can give a tour on how I made this. It's pretty simple. I have uh, five redstone repeaters there, and then one here to set a delay, since we need these pistons to get up in this height for these piston uh, for these redstone uh, or for these repeaters um, to work. You know. Uh, yeah, and then. Because if you we didn't have this uh, around the back, this is a delayed uh, what's it called um, current. So these lower uh, sticky pistons will stay up um, for a longer duration. Now let's see what happens if we do, this, do it like this. Um, now the current won't go back there. These normal pistons will stay up, which we don't want. So we have this one. And now, if you, if I was a little hur faster, you would have seen that these pistons were actually up for the full duration. Now, um, in order to make this go back down, we will actually make this up here, but upside down, of course. And so let's just add one more layer of gates. Of course you can make this wider or taller if you would like. That's you would like, you know. Um, yeah. Now let's see if I can remember this. Uh, ah, come on. I would like these. So what I'm doing here is that I'm making a vertical uh, redstone connection I hope I'm making it this right I'm probably not but who cares I guess you do uh, whatever uh, okay let's place the pistons now that I think about it so we mirror oh, mirror the bottom by placing normal pistons upside down here. Ah, come on. There we go. And then sticky pistons. Come on. There we go. On top of them. Nope. God damn it. Come on. 
There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. I would need. No, nope, not there. Here, I think. This is probably wrong as well. Who cares? Not me, at least. Uh, if this fails, I hope you can figure out what I was trying to do. See, there we go. And now we have to add this current up here. Same delayed current on this side. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't actually remember why I made these double. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a good reason, but I just can't remember right now. Actually, there's actually no reason to. So let's just delete them. Boom, real quick. And then we have this one with a little delay. And a bit of delay to these as well. There we go. And now, uh, let's see if I can make this happen. There we go. God dang it, that didn't work. Uh, okay, let's add another delay here. Oops. Okay, let's try again. There we go. Did you see that? They all retracted back up. Okay. Uh, now we only need to combine these two circuits. And in order to do that, we will need a lot of delays so that the current won't just, you know, juk juk, or the gate won't quick quick. That way you wouldn't be able to make it through. Oop. There we go. And now for the button, let's see. Okay, cool. I guess it should do this all right. Um, of course, you can cover all of this up. Uh, now let's have find a button. Let's see. Uh, there's one. And let's test it. Didn't work. Damn it! Now what did I do wrong? Yeah, and these. Guys didn't even retract. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I knew there was something wrong. Uh, let's do this all over again. I think this should be how it's done. Okay, let's see. This is 
not how we would like it. Uh, it's quite some time since I played with redstone, I must admit. There we go. I think this should solve it. If not, I will be mad. And then we will need another block on top of this one. And a little delay there. Let's try again. Now I'm just testing the top here. Oh, this one actually worked as well. Wait a second. Oh, that one doesn't work. No, it doesn't. So we will just need to do it like this. Now it should work. Okay. These go up as well. They fall down. The current goes down there. And they get pushed down. And it's all good. And if you'd like to be able to open the, on the other side as well, we'll just add a little extra redstone here. Um, I would probably need a repeater here. There we go. And boom. And that one works as well. And that's how you make an automatic opening and closing gate in Minecraft. Yeah, so that's w this was just a little experimenting uh, video actually, to see if I can upload this with my bad internet connection. Uh, thanks for watching, go click like if you enjoyed the video, and please subscribe for more. War drums. this is over an hour. Mm, bye!